Hey guys, a uh, quick-ish video today about sight reading resources. Um, I try and sight read every day if I can. Uh, sometimes I can only manage five minutes. Uh, other times I can do 30, 40 minutes if I've got the time and the focus. Um, and I always struggle with new material. I always seem to be cycling over the same material. Um, and then I end up learning it rather than actually sight reading it. Um, I always buy this book every six months. Um, it's the uh, book that the exam board puts out uh, with sight reading um, samples and examples in so you kind of know what you're going to get in the exam if you choose to do exams. Um, so yeah, look, there's like three examples on the last page. Um, so yeah, there's 45 examples in here over 16 pages. Now, I couldn't get through two pages of that easily in about 10 minutes. Um, so, you know, you do that every day and then in a week you've covered the whole book. And then, uh, and then the week after, you sort of have to repeat the same book, and then again, you're you're kind of you're remembering it from last time, so you're 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 not really sight reading it in the way that you should be, i.e., completely fresh. Um, so I've tried IMSLP, I've tried looking on eBay. IMSLP is a pain because you have to search. It's a it's a great resource, but um, kind of only for individual pieces. If you're looking for loads of sight reading material. You have to search, you have to know what you're looking for on there. You then have to print it off, which costs money uh, in terms of printer ink and paper. Then you have to buy a folder for all the loose sheets of paper. Oh, it just becomes a pain. Um, you can also look on eBay for stuff, but to be honest, eBay costs so much. Like even if you buy a book, whatever book it is, for about a quid, you usually have to pay like three quid, sometimes four pound for delivery, and then it just becomes unviable. Um, so, I found what I thought was a great sight reading resource. As some of you watching this might go, well, that's just common sense and I've known about that for ages and, you know, uh, but for me, it was just brilliant. Um, and maybe for some of you who don't know about it, um, it will be, uh, be a bit of an eye opener. Um, so I went to stay with family a couple of weeks ago and uh, was out in town one day and I was walking down the high street and I saw this secondhand bookshop. And on the outside of the bookshop, it said, it was written on the, on the window, um, secondhand sheet music in the back or something. So I went in and chatted to the person who was uh, behind the desk and she sort of pointed me towards the back um, little section. And um, yeah, it was an absolute treasure trove of sheet music, like an Aladdin's cave. There was so much there. Anything, everything from um, scores, big scores, right down to those little opera programs that people used to take to the opera to follow along with the music. Um, and there was whole shelves of them. Um, it was amazing. And there was a big, big piano section, one for other instruments as well, but big piano section. And in the piano section, there was boxes of graded sheet music there. And there was, I mean, it wasn't done by individual grade. I think there were boxes for grade five and under, and then some for six, six to eight, but there was tons of them. And so I started looking through them and the cost of it, it was any three books, any three books across the, uh, across the whole section for two pounds. So that's what, like 66, 67 pence per book. I mean, amazing. Um, so I picked up like 20, 30 books easily. I'll just show you some of them here. So uh, these are the sight reading books that I got. Um, some of them are actual sight reading books. Some of them are just, you know, old grade one, grade two uh, piece books that you can have a sight read through. So there's one here from the Australian board. <coughs> excuse me, sight reading exercises. There's grade four there. I think there's five and six in there as well. So that keep going for a while. Grade one and two pieces. Again, I think this is a book from the night is. Uh, Bella Bartok for children. Good sight reading stuff there for my level. Another book with tons of pieces in. Classics to modern. I think it's grade one or two. Grichaninoff, Opus 98. Some great sight reading stuff in here. This, like a massive book. It's like 150 pages full of basic kind of jazz versions of stuff. Um, everything up to um, three sharps and flats, which is about the level that I am sight reading at the minute. And then something there from um, LCM board. So yeah, so what I did when I was looking through, I was having to flick through just to, because obviously I didn't know what the books contained. So I'd flick through them and see if they were about my level. Like I said, anything up to two, three sharps and flats, you know, chords that I can kind of um, recognize, etc. So I found those. I also found loads of proper pieces as well. Like there's a great book here from, I think from the seventies, like progressive pieces for grade four. So I'll have a look through that another time. Microcosmos, Bella Bar Bartok, sorry, grade four. Um, this nice, pe uh, nice book, Portraits in Style. There's loads of good pieces in here. 
a nocturne, a reverie, a rag, a jazz piece, loads of stuff. Um, I found this, like a piano version of the deer, uh, deer Hunter theme. Love that film. Loads of other stuff. Um, Grieg, Opus 12. Uh, what else? Golden House, I think it's from the 30s. It's got like List on there. Obviously I'm not ready for List yet, but you know what I mean, for the future. Schubert, Handel, Brahms, tons of stuff. Even little Peanuts piano course book. Amazing. So yeah, so that's the tip for today is uh, go out to your secondhand bookshops um, and ask if they've got any uh, sheet music there. They'll often have at least one box of the stuff. And if they don't, talk to the manager. Because I went to a um, shop recently and they didn't have any and I spoke to the manager and he said, oh yeah, God, I know of a place that does it. And so they'll give you the contact details and the address and all that of, of, of places that they do know that have that kind of stuff. And it's so cheap. Like these books, as I said, three for two pounds. You can't go wrong. I spent, what, 15, 20 quid and I got tons of stuff. So I'll never, well, not for the time being, I'll always be sight reading new material every day. And, eat, and I've got so much stuff now that if I ever go back to the beginning and start sight reading again, I won't be memorizing it like I did the other stuff. Um, so that's the tip. Um, yeah, let me know if you've got any good sight reading resources, um, put them in the comments below. And I'll see you for the next video.